Everyone involved in the harvesting of California almonds should aim to keep dust inside the orchard. Harvest dust affects our workers, neighbors, and the surrounding community. When it comes to harvest time, map out a successful harvest by considering your soil and considering your neighbors. The most effective way to do this is by purchasing new harvest equipment that is specifically designed to reduce dust or to contract with custom harvesters who use newer equipment. Incentive funds may even be available. For existing equipment, the Almond Board of California has funded nearly a decade of research that demonstrates how small changes in harvest practices can add up to great improvements in dust reduction. As we take a closer look at pre-harvest, sweeping, and pickup practices, we start to map a successful harvest and find ways to reduce dust across the growing region. Let's begin. Pre-harvest. Each orchard is different. Whether you're working in heavy or light soil, sand, loam, or clay conditions, there are many factors to consider during harvest. Layout, maturity, and crop size and irrigation system will also vary by orchard. It's important to note that during extra dry years, harvest activities may result in increased dust due to lack of stored soil moisture, and reduced tree canopies will filter less dust. Starting with a clean orchard floor benefits all harvest activities, reducing dust across the board. When you fill in ruts and holes where nuts can get stuck, you can eliminate extra sweeper passes and adjust equipment head heights higher. This knocks unnecessary dust out of the process without losing harvest efficiency. There are many simple ways you can help to manage dust on unpaved roads and yards used during harvest. Try reducing speeds using products like Dust Down or using a water truck. Also, spreading gravel or even spreading almond shells recycled from last year's batch can help cut down on unnecessary dust. Whether you're working with a custom harvester, your own employees, or doing everything yourself, it's important to develop a strategy for reducing dust before harvest is underway. Agree upon the expected balance of speed and productivity with all involved in harvest while considering your soil and considering your neighbors. Let's review the ways you can reduce dust prior to harvest. Start with a clean orchard floor. Manage dust on unpaved roads and yards. Plan ahead and communicate with everyone involved in harvest. And consider your soil. Sweeping. Trees and their canopies act as filters, naturally helping to keep dust inside the orchard. Leverage them further by planning sweeper passes so that you travel in a direction that directs dust into the orchard instead of out. Remember that outside your orchard are roads, homes, schools, and others who likely see harvest dust as an unwelcome visitor. If you are sweeping near a busy road, Consider warning motorists of harvest activities with traffic signs and time sweeping activities to avoid high traffic commute times. Set the sweeper head height to an optimum level, taking into account each orchard's particular characteristics. To recover the crop, don't set the sweeper head any lower than necessary. Often, wire tines can be set to as high as half an inch off the ground and still do a good job sweeping. If set too low, the sweeper head will dig into the orchard floor, washboarding the soil and creating ruts that will make it more difficult to move and pick up nuts during harvest. Additionally, that extra dirt gets swept into the windrow, substantially increasing dust during pickup. If possible, only use wire tines on sweeper heads. Using rubber flaps instead of just wire tines can increase dust from the sweeper, adding dirt to the windrow and increasing dust at pickup. Extra attention to blower spout adjustments and fan speeds can help reduce dust from the blower. The spout should be adjusted to match local orchard conditions, properly angling the airflow so it moves only nuts and not the soil. 
When it comes to fan speed, reductions can minimize dust and even result in fuel savings. Adding a berm brush to the sweeper can improve performance in some orchard conditions and layouts. When sweeping the orchard, use fewer blower passes whenever possible. This may mean a nut or two gets left behind, but you'll save on fuel. One blower pass instead of three can reduce the amount of dust produced by half. Let's review how to reduce dust while sweeping. Be strategic about your route. Go low, but not too low. Use wire tines. Fine-tune settings to local conditions. Avoid extra passes. And consider your neighbors. Pickup. Remember that outside your orchard are roads, homes, schools, and others who are likely to see harvest dust as an unwelcome visitor. If you are picking up near a busy road, consider warning motorists of harvest activities with traffic signs and time harvest activities to avoid high traffic commute times. Speed during almond pickup has the greatest impact on dust output, so be sure to go slow. Cutting ground speeds by half will reduce dust by 50%. Slower ground speeds let gravity do more of the work by separating dirt from the crop, resulting in less dust overall. Conditions like soil and layout will shift from orchard to orchard, and humidity and wind can change whether harvesting day or night, so always adjust ground speed to match local factors. In addition to speed, set the pickup machine head height to an optimum level by matching local conditions. Help reduce dust by not going too low. Don't just slow down the harvester, slow down fans too. Dialing back the RPMs on harvester separator fans is another good way to reduce dust. Reduce separator fan speeds to the minimum needed to match local harvest conditions. Let's review how harvest dust can be reduced during pickup. Go slow and not too low. Slow fans down and consider your neighbors. For helpful tools and reminders on how best to reduce harvest dust, please refer to additional almond board materials, such as technical guides and the harvest dust toolkit. Remember to keep dust inside the orchard. Consider your soil and consider your neighbors. Together, we can all breathe easy during harvest. To access any of these materials, simply visit almonds.com slash harvestdust.